Okay, the moment that y'all been waiting for. The Basic Series 139 Pat McPhee. Former football player. Um, sadly, taking a break from like doing stuff with WWE, doing like commentating for the football team. Don't know which one, because I know he is. Because I heard, because I know he used to be a football player, and this is actually my very first football, pl former football player action figure. Because I really don't go like football stuff till now. So, well, except for Baron Corbin, because Baron Corbin, he used to be a football player. So, yeah. Um. So, here is the other wrestlers you get in the set. Hulk Hogan, Matt Riddle. Liv Morgan, which, fun fact about this right attire she's wearing right here, um, it's, she did, according to, uh, people who are a fan of her, uh, they said that she actually wore the color red, because some people thought it was, like, Daredevil colors, but no, it was actually based on a outfit that Britney Spears wears, Rares and one of our music videos and John Cena with hopefully a removable hat and our band which I'm going to try to find that John Cena so anyway let's go ahead and get him out of the box and see what he looks like okay guys so here he is out of the package um we all know how basics work uh they're not using like these type of action figure uh articulation anymore for the newer basics and they're not using the same color package that they've been using for the past two years. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, now, yes, if you guys can tell, he has a removable shirt and a removable gold chain necklace. Thing's pretty cool. Um, so, yeah, what do I give this review? I'm going to give it 100%. Because, again, this is a, just an unboxing. An unboxing and review. But, anyway, guys, hope you guys like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys. I am back with another video. And, happy Tuesday. So, yeah, I got this in the mail yesterday. Again, couldn't do an unboxing yesterday. So, um... Anyway, uh, this is Nightwing and the package. There are some other characters you get in the set, including Red Hood. So, yeah, let's go ahead and um, take him out of the package to see what he looks like. Alright, guys, so here he is out of the package. Um, to be honest... This is just his normal outfit, but on the the packaging, it says stealth armor, which he doesn't literally have that much armor on, which, again, is just his normal look, but sadly, no long hair. Pretty nice, well detailed. Pretty nice and sharp. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, yes, this is actually the first unboxing of August. I already did the early unboxing for August yesterday. But, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe. Also, before I leave, I'm giving this a 100 out of 100. But still, like, comment, subscribe. Hey, guys, I am back with another plush. I mean, not a, uh, another video. Well, this is kind of like a plush review, so... Yeah, but anyways, I mean, anyway, happy Friday. So, yep, uh, I am reviewing the Marvel Basic, Mattel Marvel Basic uh, Scarlet, Scarlet Witch Plush. Uh, I found this yesterday morning at Walmart. And I, again, I didn't know Mattel made a Scarlet Witch. I mean, they just got in the TMNT Mutant Mayhem plus she's in last week and they also brought in WWE plushies like the ones you saw that they have all the way up in Walmart or up there in Canada if you guys are from Canada 
So yeah, uh, I'm going to take the tags off, like, the little hanger and the little book tag. So, anyway, let's go ahead and she, w see what she looks like without the tag on. Sorry if I'm, like, mispronouncing stuff, because, um, I keep biting my gums and I don't know why. Okay, guys, so, this was... I really don't know why they put the tag on her shoulder for literally no reason. But, um, anyway, guys, uh, that's it for this plus review, and I hope you guys like, comment, subscribe, and have a great weekend. Ooh. So, yep, yeah, I forgot to tell you guys from my review video I did on the Scholar Witch plushie this morning, I actually got another package that just came in today. I actually pre-ordered this on my other Amazon account with Amazon credit, and... I feel like it's not in a bag if I open the hell of the box. So, yeah, I want to see what it is and show you guys what it is. It's probably one of those Demon Slayer pop plushies I pre-ordered. So, anyway, let's go ahead and get to it. So, I'll be right back in the next scene. Okay, guys, so here he is, Tondro. Um, yes, this is just like the Batman one. I, kind of, I actually did a review and unboxing of Way back of January a year ago, so y'all want to go ahead and check it out. Go ahead, uh, look it up. Uh, so here's the tags. Demon Slayer Funko Plushies. So, yeah, um, so, again, if some of y'all really want to know what the whole thing, like, what, say, for example, like, Tondra is here. Again, it's kind of like a reference to the, like, to uh, All Might's crowd from My Hero Academia, when he says, I am here, or I'm here. So that's basically like that. But not the Super Smash Brothers reference, because, uh, you know. But anyway, let's go ahead and take the tag off and see what he looks like without the tag on. But sadly, I did not get Nesuko, because Nesuko will be coming by next Friday, a week from today, because hopefully uh, UPS will deliver it. So, you know, let's go ahead and take the tags off, shall we? Darn it. I thought I paused it. I don't know why he doesn't want to do that. Okay, just for the record, I said darn. Like, D-A-R-N. Like, darn it. So, here's he, here he is without the little tag on. Um, yeah, pretty cool. Uh, sadly, I couldn't get the Great Eastern one, because for some weird reason, they... Like, the one that him is just sitting is, like, uh, nearly 30 actually $28. Don't know why, but, hey, uh, this was cheaper. So, anyway, guys, if you guys like, comment, subscribe.